from the fifth quarter studio in Madison, Wisconsin. Madison, Wisconsin. You're listening to the Five Minute Basketball Coaching Podcast with our host, Steve Collins. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Five Minute Basketball Coaching Podcast. Uh, before we jump in today, I'd like to give a big shout out to teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you like these resources, if you like them being free, if you like them five days a week, along with Coach Unplugged in High School Hoops, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. It's what keeps the lights on. It's one way for you to repay us. And also leave a five-star review. We love those. Let's head off. Hey, everybody. Podcast. Welcome. Today, we're going to talk about the five quick ways you can develop your te- your basketball team or your basketball program. These are all ways or things that you can do as a coach to kind of deep dive and make your basketball program or basketball team better. So the first one is, I don't know if it's always obvious to people, but you got to have a long-term mindset. Um, I can tell you the story about when I took over my program, I was the only applicant, um, and they had had five, five or six winning seasons in 30 plus years and no one wanted it. And, um, my plan was to get us on the map in seven years. I think it took us a little bit less than that, but, um, I had to have a long-term plan. And luckily I had great assistants. I had a great administrator. I had great assistant coaches. I had a great AD um, that I was able to, to do that long-term plan and have that long-term mindset as far as how to tackle things. And, you know, the, 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 the saying is Rome was not built in a day. It's the same with a basketball team or a basketball program. So if you think it's going to be a quick fix, then you better go better coach LeBron's team. Because otherwise, there are no quick fixes in building a successful basketball team or basketball program. So that's number one. Number two, put a premium on developing yourself. Work on your craft. Like if you if you want to become a better carpenter, you 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 become an apprentice. You learn from other carpenters. If you want to become a better teacher or a coach, find mentors. Develop develop your network. Um, and forget that you are part of someone's network, that you have to work on that. Um, so that's where your mindset has to be. How will I continually grow? How will I make myself a better basketball coach? How can I learn from someone that's already done this? And this has been around since Plato and Socrates, that you have to learn from people that have already done it. Shameless plug, teachhoops.com is the answer, but um, not everyone wants to join it and I'm, I'm mentoring coaches all over the world, but, um, the, put a premium on developing. If it's reading, if it's watching videos, if it's breaking film down, if it's talking to other people, spend the time, you're going to maybe have to spend some of the money. Cause I know I have, I know I've spent tens of thousands of dollars on clinics and videos and learning and talking and people forgot <laughs> Maybe people listening to this don't remember that long distance used to cost a lot. I mean, I, I can tell you long distance calls that were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars, me just talking to coaches. And, and the funny part is, again, the young coaches don't remember this, but on Sunday, you had to call Sunday night was the cheapest time to call. So I'd always, the, some of my mentors or people that I learned this great game from, um, that Sunday nights would be the time I'd call them because it'd be the cheapest for long distance. But anyway, um, so number two is put a premium to, on developing yourself. Number three, Seek to give more than you receive. That's why I do these podcasts. That's why I do my YouTube channel. That's why I put content out all the time. That's why I have three podcasts, four, yeah, three podcasts and two more in the queue ready to come out soon because I want to give back. I want to share this game has given me more than I can ever give it back. And um, I think it's the path of successful coaches. Um, you know, you look at the great ones, what do they do? They give back, right? All right. Next one is develop your people to people mindset that not only am I going to learn from one person to another, but I have to build that network because I never know if it's going to be a coach in Wyoming or a coach in, in Rhode Island that I'm going to learn that one thing that's going to help me. So You know, yes, it can be mentors, it can be mentorees, it can be giving, uh, doing an interview, any of those kind of things will help in your coaching. Um, So people to people mindset. 
that growth mindset would be a subcategory of that. Obviously, you have to be willing to fail a little bit to, to build your program and take it to the next level. All right. And the last one is be intentional in your actions. This is probably the hardest one for me because I always am juggling about 16 different things. <laughs> yeah, we all have jam-packed schedules. We all realize that. Um, but we need to connect with our staff. We need to connect with our other coaches, with our players. But you have to be intentional in that. Um, I use a physical planner to do that. Um, but you have to plan out your time. You have to plan out when things are going to get done. Like I have to plan out, you know, I put out 13 podcasts a week. You don't think I'm intentional on how I get these out to all of you. I have to be, we all have the same 24 hours. We all have the same minutes, um, in the schedule. So I think you have to be really careful, um, and intentional on all of these. Again, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. There is nothing else like it. And trust me, no place else out there are you going to get the resources. That, I mean, I just put up all sorts of cool clinic stuff and some trapping one to two stuff. And I I'm, I'm just keep putting things in there all the time. But anyway, so let's go through those five things again. Number one, have a long-term mindset. Number two, put a premium on developing yourself. Number three, seek to give more than you receive. Number four, have that growth mindset, that person-to-person -person mindset. And number three, five be intentional in your actions these will all make you a better basketball coach i hope this has helped please leave a review down below a thumbs up if you're watching on youtube and if you're listening we love those five-star reviews talk to you soon